Despite its imposing stature, the Newfoundland is one of the world's most friendly dog breeds. It is an excellent companion and family dog. When Napoleon Bonaparte fled from the island of Elba in 1815 and fell into the sea, he is said to have been rescued from drowning by a Newfie called Boatswain. History and Origin of the Newfoundland The ancestors of this breed were once the dogs of fishermen and sailors. After first the Vikings brought their bear dogs with them to North America, it is thought that other European immigrants also introduced their shepherd dogs to Newfoundland in the northeast of Canada. Many believe that these immigrant dogs mixed with the Tibetan Mastiffs belonging to the Native American tribes living in Newfoundland. Known for their intelligence, strength and endurance, the dogs were used to help fishermen pull in their nets. They also fetched valuable flotsam ashore and were even known to rescue people who had fallen into the sea. British sailors took the big dogs with their black dense fur back across the Atlantic to the UK in the 19th century. Appearance of the Newfoundland According to the FCI, the height at the withers in males should be on average 71 cm, while in females it should be around 66 cm. An average weight of 68 kilos is required for male dogs and for females it should be around 54 kilos. The life expectancy of the new fee is only 8 to 10 years. Its springy gait and its harmonious, well-proportioned physique give the dog a unique appearance. The coat is moderately long, dense, relatively greasy and can tend to smell. The soft undercoat is exceptionally waterproof. The coat colors of the Newfoundland are brown, black and black and white. In black and brown dogs, white markings are permitted on the chest, toes and the tip of its tail. Black and white Newfies will preferably have a black head with a white blaze, while the saddle and the top of the tail are ideally black. The fur on their legs and chest should preferably be white. Temperament and training of the Newfoundland as it was formerly a sheepdog, the Newfie still has a certain territorial instinct, which makes it a good watchdog. It doesn't like taking instructions too much, but with the right training, the dog will become an obedient companion. It is brave and rarely aggressive, and its good nature means it is usually very friendly with people, including with children, and gets on well with other dogs. Despite their bear-like stature, even relatively inexperienced owners should be able to handle the dogs. Since Newfies enjoy having contact with their family pack, they should not be kept in a kennel. From a young age, the dogs are very playful. And although Newfie puppies may seem like cute, woolly bear cubs, they should still be given consistent training from early on. Exercise and care of the Newfoundland by nature the dogs love paddling and swimming and will always be ready to jump into even ice-cold water which make them ideal for training as water rescue dogs. A Newfie's need for outdoor exercise is best met by keeping it in a fenced property in a rural setting, ideally close to a lake. The dogs are happy enough to have short walks and enjoy a moderate amount of sun but they don't like getting too hot so walking in shaded woodlands would be preferable. The dog's coat should ideally be groomed several times a week. Unfortunately, the new fee is particularly susceptible to hereditary orthopedic diseases such as hip and elbow dysplasia, as well as bone cancer and heart muscle problems. Potential owners of these giant bear dogs should first consider their huge appetite for food and whether owning one would be financially and logistically possible.